This is Tracy from Family Services. I'm calling to remind you of your upcoming home visit for Baby Aaliyah on Thursday. Message deleted. Bradley, I'm calling from Oakwood Funeral Home to let you know that the remains of one Josephine Bradley are ready to be collected whenever you're ready. Our opening time. Message deleted. Fine. Okay. No. 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 That's it. Hi, baby. Hi. What? What? She's a baby. They cry. So, Mr. Bradley, here we are. If you could just sign these documents here for me. Yeah, okay. Your granddaughter? Yeah. Stan, keep it down a bit. She's just nodding off. Has she not been sleeping? <laughs> not what I wanted to, no. Always the way. I gotta say, Tom, I can't believe you're really doing it. I mean, I really didn't think you'd take her. I mean, Peggy spent more time raising Joe than you did. There was nowhere else for her to go. You're really gonna spend your retirement changing nappies and shit. I mean, maybe you still need to grieve and stuff. I know. I know. Do you wonder maybe if it's all a bit too much? Sorry, darling. I can't do this. I just can't. <laughs> so are you are. I'm Tracy from Family Services. We spoke on the phone. I'm here for your compulsory home visit. Compulsion? The home visit. Right, right. Come in. So, 
Where's the little one then? She's asleep in her crib. It was a long night. So, how have you been doing with the adjustment period? It's not been easy, I guess. Some teething stuff. She cries a lot. Infants that have moved homes always take a minute to adjust. I just... Look, Tom. I know this isn't what you want to hear right now. But if you can't do it, we've already had interest from a few families that are keen to adopt her. No. But we have to think about what's best for Aaliyah. No, no. Joe wanted her to be with me. I know I can do this. It's just something to consider, Tom. No. Keep it in mind, okay? No. And if you do decide to keep custody, then we can reschedule today's appointment for two weeks' time. No. Hopefully she will have... settled by then. Can you come for a walk? Can you see here? Alright, oh, darling. Okay. And did you? Oh, I don't understand. They thought we were going into care and not being there for her. It's just. Look. I think you're being too hard on yourself, mate. It's been a rough couple of months. You're doing better than I could. Hell, I think you're coping better than most. Mm. I haven't even asked. How are you doing with losing Joe and all? I don't know. I feel I failed her as a father. I never got to fix that. I just don't want to make the same mistakes again. For her sake. I just don't know if I'm up to it these days. What if I'm not what she needs? Hmm. It's a decision only you can make, mate. Or you. Or social services. <laughs> you could be right there. Good girl. Ooh. That was great. I know. I miss her too. But I'm not going anywhere. Okay? You'll be the two of us. Promise. Tracy, hi. Yeah, no. Everything's fine. In fact, it's great. I'm beginning to get the hang of things. And she's beginning to settle too. I can even do her hair now. Which brings me to... I've decided that Leah will stay with me. I know things could be tough. I think the time is right for both of us. Oh, your mum used to love it out here. We come here for picnics in the summer. We're going to come here more often, I think. She'd like that. Bye-bye, my darling.